Hey, 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 guys, what's up? It's your boy, Mr. Passion here, and welcome back to episode 4 of Techtopia. As you can see, there's a creeper behind me. It's nighttime, and they have a very short detection range, so you cannot see me. Anyways, in today's episode, we're going to do quite a couple of things. But before that, I know you, you're, you, you notice that there's a lot of things that are different around here. Yeah, I went ahead and uh, I think I should kill this creeper. I went ahead and got myself some an enchanting table. Make, make sure I got all the 15 bookshelves that are needed. Uh, a, f a smelting setup because I've been doing a lot of mining. And yeah, I've just got it to the point where I want to build this because I'm actually going to. I actually have a completely different plan for how this area is going to turn out. But I I'm actually going to build something a little bit bigger. But this this thing is making me uncomfortable. Okay, you know what? You have to die. No. Oh, come on. Come on. Anyways. We have been hard at work. As you can see, I have full diamond armor. And golden cards. And some OP tools. Okay, not all of them, but some. Like, for example, we have this pickaxe. It is for Fortune 3. Wait, what's the highest? I think it's 3. And um, unbreaking 3. Efficiency 5. We have a sweeping edge and breaking two and sharpness four sword, so it's kind of OP. And uh, uh, the diamond axe is just normal. Same goes for the uh, shovel. But I'm going to be working on those gradually as we go through this series. But particularly, I got this. I got an idea from uh, uh, one of the YouTubers I watched that have plays this particular mod pack um, called Milo. I'm sure you guys probably know him if you're watching him. If you're watching <laughs> this series um to he names each of these of these uh his his tools after the, the, each of the cities or the towns that he builds and that is actually the best segue into the name that we're going to give this place so i uh, use uh i think i was going to say user uh a subscriber of mine commented yo okay you want to fight okay no come on come on so a, a so a subscriber of mine commented uh and gave me an, a, a name that i really really liked and actually even gave me the reason i'm going to put it up on screen such that you guys can see but the name of this place as you can see is going to be called ostenria ostenria being that because i say that i wanted this place to have then the word East in, uh, in the name, this guy gives me the German uh, word for East, which is Austin, and then Ria, which is, I think, from Spanish to mean territory or area. And I just like it. It's just a nice name. So, Austin Ria. So, in this episode, I'm going to, I'm going to want to, of course, uh, make a banner and uh, a signpost uh, indicating the population that I'll be updating every single time we add new villagers. Anyways, um, let's get into what we're going to do this episode. For this episode, we are mostly going to be... Um, we're going to build up something here. I think... I was planning on building uh, the tavern here, but I realized the library is also another communal place uh, that villagers have, because most of the villagers end up going there, so... I'm going to build the library here, and the other reason is because I need my villagers to get um, to get brighter, such that I can get more production from them, and then I'll have more more emeralds. To uh, I mean, more ways to get emeralds. So not more ways. I mean, more stuff to sell, such that I can get emeralds. As you can see right now, there's not much here. You know, and I have these people set to, to like, I have this guy, the lumberjack set to only cut down spruce and oak. And uh, the farmer only to get carrot because wheat is no longer giving me as many emeralds as before from the merchant. But I, I figured uh, maybe increasing their levels would improve on how much or how fast they do the, the collecting and how much they collect. I, I think so. Correct me if I'm wrong anyways. But yeah, we're going to be building a library here, and we're also going to be building a two-person home up here, up here, up here, just next to this one. 
um, two personal because I want to hire another farmer and another lumberjack uh, and then I dedicate each of them to one crop at least that I know I can get trades from uh, the merchant you're going to see the trades he has but uh, that is pretty much what I have planned besides that I'm going to be doing a lot of a lot a lot of grinding I've, I've been doing a lot of um, what do they call it I've been doing a lot of grinding in terms of trying to find emeralds but damn they are very hard to find I looked for caves even the caves in the extreme hills biomes are really difficult to find now um, finding uh, finding the emeralds was way so hard so I, I actually ended up just getting very few I think like with my fortune pickaxe I was able to get eight because I found like three so I have about 37 this includes some that I've been doing that I've gotten through trading with the merchant but because we need a library which is about 30 emeralds and two person home which is about I think three or or six wait what it's six I may not have enough after all let me let me go and check a two person home has to be about six six emeralds and then the tokens for the lumberjack and the farmer are each three so that's another six so that's 12 plus 30 42 i just hope the two person home is cheaper than i thought it is i just hope that that is the case um okay uh two person home Let's see it's six emeralds so i have 37 so i am short by six emeralds and the only way I'm going to be able to get those is if I trade. The other thing is I want to try and see whether it, I have a, a spare two-person home token that I got from one of the villages as I was as I was uh, traveling or moving around this area, and I think I may be able to use it. I've seen pre before in other people's uh, Techtopia worlds that you're not able to use tokens from another village because uh, they will not be they will not be recognized as those from this village for some reason uh, where is yep I see I have a two person home and six person home and I'm just I'm really hoping that this thing works they I why, why don't we test it now let's just test it now and see if it is going to work I just need some random building blocks and a door yep so let's just um, test it here and see if to I just hope it lights up please light up okay so fingers crossed oh my god oh my god it works it actually works you guys that saves me a lot a lot well I geez I'm ecstatic okay that's great that is wonderful so simply means I can skip having to buy um, I can skip having to buy stuff from the tradesman no I mean the architect simply because I can get them from other places but uh, the other villages mostly have uh, homes and maybe the community center the community storage and the town hall they, they hardly have any other structures and I think in this direction the desert where I'm, I'm going to go right now to get some sand I found one of the villages that i think i don't know was invalid for some for some reason but still had these tokens on many of the buildings and i think i'll find that one and try to use that okay so that is good news let's just take this down and uh see you see you in a bit actually you know what let me just throw a time lapse of me collecting some sand and yeah doing that stuff.
Ooh, uh, that was fun. Uh, clearing out this, shaving off this top part of this uh, desert hill. As you can see, I cut a longer pickup block, so that means my inventory is full. And you can see that it actually is full. Um, let's go away. Uh, now then I'm going to try to convert this into sandstone because that's what I need. I need sand for the most. And then convert the sandstone into into uh, smooth sandstone sandstone and i'll see what i get i have gotten quite a lot actually if i'm to show you i have um, a little over nine stacks <laughs> yeah uh, i usually count it in nines because well it's nine 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 spaces nine uh inventory slots anyway this is what i have and i think this is going to be enough meanwhile i really need to go ahead and start building because i did not have much more time in this episode so let me go back to my place and get on with the first build some might say it is really inefficient to dig to dig up the, the sun too rather than uh, rather than having gone just straight to some place i could find sandstone and dig sandstone up but well, what my, what can I say? I just like it. It's fun. Uh, there's so many boats here. Do not ask questions. You know, it's this. These are from my previous expeditions to this desert island. Well, I wanted to get stuff. I wanted to see what was there, and I was also looking for ender pearls. I, I managed to get quite a number, but I died a lot of times and lost very many good stuff. Ah, the beautiful land of Ostenria. I really like that name. It is just. It's just befitting. Yeah, we are back home. Time to build. I think I'm going to go and build a two-person home first. Simply because I want to build. I want to get my building uh, juices flowing. So, and the easiest way to do that is to build something smaller before I go for the bigger library build. So, I'm going to show you that in a time lapse. I just need to organize myself. What do I want? I have smooth stone i just need to get some batch i might have to go cut down some batch because this is not going to be enough um, just i think this will be enough and then of course not forgetting the acacia wood a couple stacks should be should should do and our stone yes cobblestone Three stacks. I must have kept the smooth stone somewhere. Okay, this is not going to be enough. I'm going to have to smelt up some. Ah, uh, no more stone. All right, but let's just kick it up in a good old-fashioned time lapse. Alright, so let me quickly show you what 
uh, I ended up doing in here, uh, the interior. And I, I think you guys are going to love it. So, of course, double doors made of batch because these are our, our wealthier couple that lives here. Beds already occupied because the villagers took them. A nice lounging area, a nice place to sit and uh, bed. Now, you know, now that I think about it, why didn't I put this, this bed next to, like here? Yep. Uh, I'm going to place this bed here. Yep. And we have a nice porch or um, balcony for them to sit he over here like at night when they want to just hang out and talk. Yeah, but not much has been done in the interior. It's supposed to be a painting here, but I'll just get that later. Yeah, so that is what I did in the interior here. Next up is um, going to be the, um, what do they call it? The library. And oh yes, does it not feel nice walking into the town square and seeing it starting to take shape. This is our lovely, lovely library. I haven't yet put the token in yet because I do not have enough emeralds to buy the token from the guy. He's selling it quite expensively, so yeah. But as you can see, I added in a lot of stuff from after... I finished uh, the recording. A lot of this is just details and the interior. I have these acacia logs, making it seem like this is supported by the. It needed extra support because of the height of the building. And I mean, not the height, but just the size. Yeah, and I just wanted it to feel a little bit more grand than these other two buildings here. And that is why I went with that. So, coming inside. We have a um, glowstone chandelier. Why is there no... Okay, I have to place something here. We have a glowstone chandelier. Come on. Yep. Uh, basically, a lot of glowstone in here. That's what I'm, be I'm using for lighting because I do not want to have torches everywhere. And we moved our enchanting setup from uh, my house to here as well even the enchanter will be able to use this uh, we have a middle sec section table that maybe guys <laughs> place books on i guess and some more shelves just placed around it another place to sit nice uh, i don't know cove to sit by and read a book if you want to 
do so. Yeah, and that is what that is our library. I like it. I really do like it. It's it's nice. Um, all right. But I guess that is going to be it for me in this episode. I must say, you may have noticed, by the way, in the in the time lapse that uh, I was I had some villagers taking damage. What had happened was I forgot. I put carpets here, and when the villagers would try to enter, there were like there were like I think like uh, two pixels tall, so they could not fit through the door and. While I was building, I sadly lost some villagers, but I did quickly replace them with the ones you see now. Yeah, and I guess I'll be building a grave for those that um, died. I I think I only remember, I actually remember both of them. One was Brianna, another one was Luca, and uh, the other villagers we lost. Shall build, I don't know, some place we shall put a graveyard. I don't think it's... What about, I don't know, it doesn't make sense here, but somewhere. Anyways, that's it for me. It has been great having you here. I hope to see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Share this video with your friends that may, that you think may enjoy the Techtopia series. And, um, I mean, to really just do me that solely, it will be, uh, I'll be very help, uh, very grateful. But, um, to everyone that has commented, that has, has, has sent me, has, has liked the videos before. I mean, I'm really thankful for that and I really do appreciate it. I really do enjoy making these videos, and especially I enjoy them being watched by other people. Um, till next time, bye for now. We shall return back to Australia in episode 5. Bye.